Hello, everyone. My name is Sarah Sharif, and I'm a Principal Program Manager in Azure Data at Microsoft. In this video, we will present how to use AMD-based confidential VMs for your Azure Databricks cluster nodes. We will begin with Kelly Albano, who is a Product Marketing Manager at Databricks, and she will present an overview of Databricks and the added value of using confidential VMs. Then Sakit Saman, who is a Principal Technical Program Manager with the Azure Confidential Computing Team, will present a deeper dive on AMD-based confidential VMs in Azure. And we will conclude with Samrat Ray, product lead at Databricks, who will demonstrate how to select AMD-based confidential VMs when building a cluster for your Azure Databricks workspace. Hi, everyone. My name is Kelly Albano, and I am the Product Marketing Manager for Security at Databricks. Today, I'm going to tell you about our new solution with Azure Databricks in partnership with Azure Confidential Computing and AMD. But first, a little bit about who Databricks is. Databricks is the data and AI company. More than 9,000 organizations worldwide rely on the Databricks Lakehouse platform to unify their data, analytics, and AI. Databricks is headquartered in San Francisco with offices around the globe. Founded by the original creators of Apache Spark, Delta Lake, and MLflow, we are on a mission to help data teams solve the world's toughest problems. Databricks is the Lakehouse company and we are the pioneers of the Lakehouse architecture and category. A Lakehouse architecture is the ideal data architecture for data-driven organizations. It combines the best qualities of data warehouses and data lakes to provide a single solution for all major data workloads and supports use cases from streaming, analytics, BI, data science, and AI. All of your data is governed and secured with a single approach, which means the right teams get access to the right data at the right time. You're able to understand how data is acquired, changed, used, and impacted across every analytics workload and dramatically simplify high trust in data. Functional silos are reduced, making collaboration much easier. As a result, you're able to ship more data products. While Databricks runs on all major clouds, we jointly developed Azure Databricks with Microsoft in 2017 as a first party service on Azure. Now that you have an overview of Databricks, let's discuss how Azure Confidential Computing and AMD add value to our solution. As we continue to unlock new use cases, some companies, especially in regulated industries, handle and produce confidential data for use cases such as fraud, blockchain, and drug development. Due to the sensitive nature of this data, consumer privacy laws, and regulatory requirements, companies with this data can be hesitant to move their data to the cloud, need additional controls for data privacy and security, and in turn, may require a confidential computing environment. What better way to address this for customers than by leveraging our partnership with Microsoft through Azure Confidential Computing? Microsoft has long been a thought leader in this field when Azure introduced confidential computing in the cloud. We are also excited to leverage Microsoft's technology partnership with AMD. With AMD's Epic CPU-backed confidential computing VMs, customers encrypt entire VMs confidentially and take advantage of best-in-class performance for data-intensive workloads. Together, Databricks, Microsoft Azure, and AMD provide a powerful and secure data platform for confidential computing. With this platform, customers can build end-to-end -end data pipelines, store data securely, and analyze large data sets to gain insights and make informed decisions. And so, we are excited to announce that Databricks has launched the ability for customers to run Azure Databricks compute clusters on Azure Confidential Computing VMs powered by AMD EPIC processors. Encryption and use is the key differentiator in the confidential computing field and complements existing Microsoft encryption capabilities for data protection at rest and in transit. Customers can increase data privacy and confidentiality surrounding business and consumer data by protecting that data while it's being processed in the cloud with Azure Confidential Computing. These VMs feature AMD's EPIC processors that are designed for high-performance computing. These processors provide powerful, cost-effective delivery of a wide range of machine learning and AI workloads. We are thrilled that customers can now begin to build a data and AI strategy for their confidential data with the Databricks Lakehouse platform. It's easy to get up and running quickly, and you simply indicate which VM you would like your cluster to run on with your existing Spark and Databricks workloads. Now I'm going to hand it over to our product management team, who's going to share more about Azure Confidential Computing and move into a demo. Hello everyone. Azure already encrypts data at rest and in transit, 
and confidential computing helps protect data in use, including cryptographic keys. Azure confidential computing helps customers prevent unauthorized access to data in use, including the cloud operator, by processing data in a hardware-based and attested trusted execution environment. When Azure confidential computing is enabled and properly configured, Microsoft is not able to access unencrypted customer data. Microsoft will not attempt to defeat customer control data protection of conversion computing with customer managed keys and verification policies in order to view or extract data and use. If faced with a legal demand to do so, we would challenge such a demand on any lawful basis consistent with our customer commitment as outlined in our blogs. So as you can see, data at rest and data in transit already exist. What we are providing with confidential computing is data and use protection. And it's all got a hardware root of trust, customer verifiable remote attestation, and memory encryption. So what is confidential computing? The protection of data and use by performing computation in a hardware-based trusted execution environment. Verifiable assurance for data integrity, code integrity, and data confidentiality. So here is typical trusted execution environment. As you can see, you have app, virtual machines, containers, any of those. And then you have hardware-based code attestation and the hardware attestation that a user can do. So this isolates the code and data of a given configuration workload from any other code running in the system. Here are the foundations of TEE. You have independent hardware root of trust, memory isolation, trusted launch, remote attestation, and secure key management. So here is how we do remote attestation and secure key management. We have the Microsoft Attestation Service, which generates an attestation token based on code sent by the TE. This service, in turn, contacts the respective hardware providers, like AMD, in case of confidential virtual machines, and gets the attestation token verified from there. Then it sends the attestation token to TEE host, which in turn sends it to the key management system. Now, this key management system is supposed to verify it and release keys using a method called secure key release. And then based on that, the virtual machine boots up. Now, Microsoft Attestation Service is written within a TE itself. It converts hardware-specific reports to standardized JWT tokens and it issues Azure-specific compliance. Then Azure Key Vault, which is our MHSM, or Managed SSM, itself is written using TEE and hardware security modules. Keys are never in clear outside of HSM or TEE. Secure key primitives, which authenticate requests using AD token and MA token. So if we have to look at the steps, here are the steps of CVM deployment. First load the guest firmware and initialize it, and request attestation token and VMGS key, load guest boot manager, TPM unseal and or OS boost, and then the last one is application can optionally perform TPM attestation to onboard additional secrets to CVM, which could be application secrets. Let's jump to this Microsoft Learn page where we talk about what are the different confidential virtual machine options available on AMD today. So there are basically four series that we have, DCASV5, which is confidential virtual machine with remote storage, then DCADSV5, which has local temporary disk, then you have EC series, which is memory optimized in both situations. And with this, I would like to invite my partner colleague from Databricks, Samrat, who's going to take us through steps that are required to create a confidential data plane cluster in Databricks. So the first step here is that we have a Databricks environment, a Databricks workspace, which is VNet injected. And then I'm going to launch the workspace. Samrat? Thanks, Akit. Before we jump into the demo, I just wanted to give you a little overview of Azure Databricks. Uh, many enterprise customers process data that is regulated and very security sensitive on Azure Databricks today. And we have worked on providing robust security capabilities like private link-based connectivity or customer managed keys, aka CMK, for encrypting data at rest. We are now very happy to partner with Microsoft to offer the ability to encrypt data in memory with confidential VM support. Azure Databricks has the concept of a cluster. A cluster is a set of computing resources and configurations on which you run data engineering, data science, and data analytics workloads. 
such as production ETL pipelines, streaming analytics, ad hoc analytics with SQL and machine learning. We will now demonstrate with this pre-created workspace that Saket just has opened in front of us, uh, how you can easily leverage Azure Confidential Computing to keep your data confidential, even in use when configuring a Databricks cluster. Now, within this workspace, we are going to create a new cluster. So if you go click on the Compute tab and we take you to the Clusters page, we can create Compute, which effectively is creating a new Databricks cluster or configuring a new Databricks cluster. And we now, with this feature, you now have the ability to actually select confidential VMs in the dropdown as the worker type for your cluster. So once you choose a confidential VM, uh, like the one that Saket just chose, which is um, an eight core machine, and then the driver type corresponding to it, you now have configured the cluster to start using the confidential VMs as the underlying VMs for the worker nodes. And that's it. With this configuration, your data is processed on a Databricks cluster of confidential VMs. You can combine this capability with Databricks customer manage keys or CMK capability to establish custody and ensure confidentiality of your data at rest and in use. Stepping back a bit, you can also configure private link to keep the environment private and use capabilities such as Unity Catalog to implement the privilege of least privileged access.